This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. Good afternoon. We're coming on the air right now with some sad news. Mary Tyler Moore has passed away at the age of 80. You remember her, the iconic TV actress, starred in the Dick Van Dyke Show in the 1960s. Then her own show, the Mary Tyler Moore Show, from 1970 to 77. Of course, both programs have lived on in reruns to this day, reaching new generations of viewers. She played Mary Richards, an independent single woman working as a TV journalist in Minneapolis. It was an inspiration for millions of women everywhere. And our Chris Connolly has more on her life and times. How will you make it on your own? Among the most beloved actresses in television history, Mary Tyler Moore transformed TV's portrayal of single working women in the 1970s. Associate producer, can you believe that? As local news producer oh, Mary God, Richards on the really Mary Tyler Moore Show, she got laughs by being good at her job. You got spunk. <laughs> well, yeah. Coping with the outsized egos, ambitions, and insecurities of her endlessly addled co-workers. The show also gave its heroine a rich personal life, but never let a boyfriend commandeer her. Now, how come I never noticed that before? Wait, that I love you? That you don't say that very well. She'd be Poor fully girl. herself with her female pals. Mary Richards would be a role model for a generation entering the workforce, winning four Emmys during the show's seven season run. Mary Tyler Moore. Moore wasn't that hip or edgy, but was regarded among Hollywood's best light. Her many skills were first on display in the 1960s as Laura Petrie, wife to TV writer Rob Petrie, on the popular sitcom, The Dick Van Dyke Show. On the big screen, she played a nun, opposite Elvis Presley, in Change of Habit. I wish there were an easy answer. Let's try to find a way, Michelle. That same year, 1969, she and then-husband Grant Tinker formed MTM Enterprises, which would produce such top series as Hill Street Blues. After the Mary Tyler Moore Show, she'd do a variety show, 1978's Mary had a supporting cast that included Michael Keaton and David Letterman. Then Robert Redford would cast her as a suburban mother dealing with the loss of one son and the anguish of another in ordinary people. What you think I've done, you blame me for the whole thing. But can't you see anything except in terms of how it affects you? No, I can't, and neither can you, and neither can anybody else. She'd be nominated for an Oscar. The film won Best Picture, but during that time, Moore's only child, Richard, would die of a gunshot wound. My only regret in life of things that I could have done differently um, is that I, I didn't have more children. I lost my son 14 years ago. And um, I don't have and will not have grandchildren. And I miss them. Diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, she was longtime chairman of JDRF, a foundation to support research into juvenile diabetes, a powerful advocate testifying to Congress on behalf of those afflicted. She is survived by her third husband, Dr. Robert Levine. Thank you for being my family. By scores of devoted and admiring co-stars and colleagues, and by millions more who found laughter and a special kind of connection with Mary Tyler Moore's kind, clever, and indomitable self preserved forever on the show that made her an icon and a lasting influence on American life. You might just make it after all. We all felt like we knew her. A lot more tonight on World News and GMA tomorrow. Have a good day. This has been a special report from ABC News.